record stores, record sales, it's all gone. And it's up to the young musicians to try and figure it out. It's dead because of the fans. They killed it. And what you have now is chaos. It's internet piracy. It's killed it. And it's, you know, talk about video killed the radio star. Well, internet piracy killed the video and the radio star. We're forever hearing reports like this, that the music industry is over thanks to digital media. Big names blame it for ruining album sales. All over the internet, websites report all sorts of problems within the music industry. Well-known record labels are in big trouble. Some of the big names are even disappearing before our very eyes. Even the big name retailers are being forced out of business, most likely never to make a comeback. And according to the RAA, 95% of music downloaded is downloaded illegally. So is this spelling the end for the music industry? I don't think so. I think music is more alive than ever. So I've travelled around Northern Ireland asking some of the people involved with the music business here what they think. And the, the, the major labels have complete control over the music industry. They knew how to hype everything, the Bay City Rollers, Gary Glitter, everything. It's not that digital media has ruined the music industry, it's that the music industry hasn't grown with the formats that it's, that's made available. And they can, they can blame themselves for the fact that all these record companies have went bust and cut jobs and ditched bands off their label. It's not the bands or artists or music listeners fault. But they, they feared it and that's, it's to their detriment now. You know, to be more traditional is not going to get you anywhere. You know, things have evolved, this is the way it is. It's only, it's only going to get worse, so you've got to, I suppose, try and adapt. I think the music industry is ever changing. I think everybody, you know, someone like myself unsigned or someone who's a major artist, I think we all have to adapt and just keep moving because things are changing. I guess it's a problem for the industry because they, they don't want to change their ways because they, they, like, they like to exploit the artist and they like to make as much as they can for themselves. But the artist's got the power now. You can put a CD out that you've recorded yourself and be a success off your own back without having to have the backing of a major label, without having to have a Ian yeah, no, man telling you how to trim your hair or what clothes to wear. I wouldn't say that digital technology has ruined the music industry, no. Um, it's opened up the industry for an awful lot of people. So with all these new services enabling anyone who wants to to distribute their music, more and more people are going to see their favourite bands at gigs and festivals everywhere. Musicians have now been given a new set of tools to enhance their music. So the truth is, you don't need to be a platinum selling artist just to make money. Not anymore. I absolutely love the fact that a little kid in his bedroom on a computer can make an album with a 101 strings behind it and a guitar sound of Led Zeppelin and sample anything and make a record. And to me, that is fantastic. What I like now is you can sit in your bedroom and make a piece of music that is true and good and valuable and you can communicate that to your fans and then your fans can buy that and you can cut out the middleman, you can cut out all of that crap. And, and that is, I think that's essential. I think it's much truer and I think, you know, I think it's better. Um, I've, I've made a living from the music industry for since before the advent of MP3 technology really. It was really in its infancy when I went out and started playing in bands. And you were going out, you would get in the garage with your Timber tape deck or something, your Sony ghetto blaster and record your band and give, give people tapes of it. There was a slogan in the 80s to say, home taping is killing music. Um, same, same sort of thing, but everybody I knew did it. Yeah, loads of sites can get you on all those shops. Also YouTube um, is just fantastic to upload videos, even live videos of your product uh, or make some basic music videos, which I did, and just link the product to it. You know, and I know there's a real argument that anybody can make music now, but so what? Big deal, you know? Why shouldn't they? So let's say you were lucky enough to get a deal with a major record label. You would get a whopping 13% share of the revenue brought in. And if you take that 13%, and split it up after managers and solicitors are paid, each member of a four-piece band gets 18%. So what that means in real terms is that for every £1,000 brought in from the sale of your music, you get £23.40 each. 
hardly a fair deal. That's the reason why it's not the end of the music industry. It's the end for their major labels and their out-of-date business model. I think it's really hard to make money out of making records now. Very, very hard. I think people need to be paying for their music. I think that younger people who have grown up with this sense that they, you don't pay for music, I, you know, why should I not be paying for what I do? Like, yeah. yeah, it's definitely a crime if it's something you have designed or something you know, you've, you've, you've uh, like created yourself. It's not necessarily the CD or the album that's profitable. The last band I was in, we made literally nothing from the CD, but we've managed to tour the world for four years on the back of So maybe album sales aren't as lucrative now, but so many other new doors have been opened. People that say, oh, I don't make as, not, as much money now because people are all downloading my music. They do still make as much money, in fact, they probably make more because more people have heard the music, more people have seen them live, more other medias are using their music, such as TV and advertising. The music industry, and there still is an industry, and um, we'll always find ways to make plenty of money. Somebody has to come up with a smarter way of how we work around this, you know, it's just technology's taking over. No, I don't think it's the end, there's always going to be music. I mean, I love music, everybody that I grew up with, and everybody I hang out with still loves music and still buy albums from their favourite artists. I think too many people just sit and watch TV as opposed to go out and experience real stuff. Um, and that boats to music at the weekends. You know, why not go out and see music? Why watch crap Saturday night TV? It's dreadful. X Factor. I couldn't tell you anybody who's what X Factor. You're right, like people go into the X Factor, it's so they're just wanting overnight success. and. Like, bar a few, a few have obviously gone on and done a lot, but most of them just disappear. You know, it's, they're well known around the period of the show, and you know, as soon as the show's over, they're non existent. Definitely, like, do it because you want to do it if you're passionate about doing it, but don't assume that you can make a living in it because it's very hard to make money in it. You really got to want to do it. Well, everybody I know that's in the music industry, everybody I know has done it because they've went out and met people and they've put their foot down when it needed to be put down, they've drawn the line at certain projects and said that's not going to work and moved on. You don't get stuck in a rut. You know, passion drives everyone, like, and there's so much wrong with the music industry, as everybody knows. You know, anything to chip away at that is a great, is a great thing. Well, it's never about the money with me, because I'm a music fan. And now, when I hear the record on the radio, I go, did I actually do that? We recorded that for 50 quid. It's on a million compilation albums now. So it seems to me now that music is alive and well in Northern Ireland. People here haven't feared technology or tried to stand this path. They've embraced it and used it to enhance their musical careers and give themselves and their fans a better day. <laughs>